Hi there. Today we're going to show you an example of when concrete graphics do not work so well. Now the problem with this one right here, as you can see, is we laid one on top of the other one. Now the adhesive on the bottom doesn't stick very well to the product. It's going to stick much better to the concrete. So when you stick it here just like that, there's a tendency for a lot of water to be able to get under it. It doesn't stick very well. And as you can see, you get the water all the way under it when that happens. That gets you a lot of water damage right here. So you just want to be sure that when you are putting it down, you're going to put it, you, you just cut it right to where the other one is, flush with that. And that would make sure that it'll make it stick to the concrete a little better than this one did. And that's a frequent problem that we run into. Now another problem we sometimes run into, as you can see right here, is um, the torque of tires when they're running over the graphic. So as you can see here, the truck or tractor was coming in right here and turned right here, which caused the graphic to push up right here. The torque of that vehicle caused it to turn and push up right here, which allowed a lot of water to seep in underneath both of the graphics right here. So that was kind of where the problem happened. Now, as you can see with this, this is a completely full coverage graphic. We don't really recommend that. That, that, that's not a recommended thing to do. What we recommend is no more than 50% coverage. So what we're doing to fix this one is we're taking these up and we're just putting down the dots like that. The problem is the concrete has to have room to evaporate. So if you cover the entire thing, it's not going to evaporate through the concrete. So again, we recommend no more than 50% coverage. Now, as you can see with this project, we've gone and we've put dots all the way down the pavement on both sides here. But I want to show you something that you want to avoid. This spot right here tends to puddle. So if there's the spring if there's sprinklers going or it rains a little bit, this spot right here kind of tends to attract all of that moisture. These are the spots that if you can you really want to avoid because that much moisture, uh, that much is really not going to do very well for your concrete graphics. So if you see spots in your concrete or your sidewalk or wherever you're putting them that tend to puddle, try to avoid those areas. So in conclusion, the things you want to avoid, you want to avoid overlay of the concrete graphics, make sure one's not going to be on top of the other. You want to avoid areas of heavy vehicle traffic, especially areas where vehicles are going to be turning, putting a lot of torque on the graphics. You want to have no more than 50% coverage. We don't recommend full coverage. You want to avoid areas that puddle. And before installation, you want to make sure that the ground has been dry for at least 72 hours for the best possible results.